Okay guys, uh, we're looking at a very easy and very consistent pattern that's evolving in the markets right now. This is a chart of Bitcoin. As you can see, as soon as it hits uh, 70,000, it drops by 10,000 points uh, like lightning fast. This is like a flash crash move that we're expecting. The only thing is uh, we're expecting a 15, 20,000 point move. Instead of that, we got a 10,000 point move. Uh, but none the case, it could uh, easily repeat itself. But pay attention. So the idea here is the moment Bitcoin uh, meets uh, or slightly exceeds the level from uh, almost three years ago, okay, uh, of 69,000, slightly makes an overshoot and then immediately drops uh, 10,000 points. Uh, now, you may be thinking, okay, what does this have to do with the chart of uh, uh, Japan? Well, it's the same pattern. So Japan has not hit a high in like since uh, 1989. And as soon as it hits a new high of 40,420, you have an instant uh, drop of 1,400 points here. So very similar uh, pattern, uh, with the exception that, uh, you know, there's no shape or form. There's any sort of correlation between Japan and, and the chart of Bitcoin normally. But uh, we are observing that every time any component of the market is hitting an all-time high, we're getting an immediate sell-off, like within moments, within hours from the moment that that takes place. So what is next? So as a trader, it's a good idea to always ask yourself the question, okay, what is the next part of the market that could be doing this? So, so far we've got Bitcoin. As soon as it hits the high, sells off 10,000 points, flash, quick flash move. We want to call it the flash crash, but very similar. I mean, another five, ten thousand point move in Bitcoin would have been considered a flash crash. But uh, NKD, not a flash crash yet, but all of these sort of momentums where uh, the size of the move exceeds uh, the size of the move exceeds the number of trading minutes uh, in an hour. Uh, it's it's a it's a sign that more momentum to the downside will be coming. Now, oftentimes, some moves like that will be met with short-term bounces or something similar that'll look almost like, hey, within a short amount of time, something can bounce. But most of the time, okay, it tells you that something is struggling at the top. So how can we use this information going into the trading session today? Well, something else that's been uh, going consistently high is the chart of gold. And yes, we've been bullish on gold. Uh, gold is literally, 14 points away from hitting an all-time high, which is, if you look at the daily chart on gold, it's not there because that move to 2186 happened pre-market, okay? And by the time the market opened, uh, gold was uh, trading under like 2156. Uh, so officially, gold is at all-time high. So could we get a flash crash type move in gold today on March 7th this is very possible so uh, if gold hits 2186 I mean we can get like a fucking 50 point drop a 60 point lightning fast move in gold so that's number one another thing to keep an eye on today is S&P 500 so uh, got some shitty data at 815 830 but guess what uh, the market uh, after dropping sharply at 3 a.m which coincides with European market open, uh, it moves higher. And so this is the level to watch. We go to 51.57 today in today's session. I think we get a major flash, uh, but it could be exceeding this uh, move right here. So uh, again, as soon as S&P 500 hits 51.57, it sells off to 100 points. Not a huge deal, but I think this time we can get a 140, 160 point move. So watch this area very careful today because we can get a, fl a flash, uh, a flash crash, a flash kind of move. It's gonna be basically a lightning fast move that market participants do not expect. So understand that and uh, trade this with a 30 market moves coach. Options are severely underpriced on the put side right now, which is making this opportunity magnificent, guys. This is a magnificent fucking opportunity. Charts are turning ugly and magnificent seven stocks. Uh, in the next video, don't miss, we're going to break down the chart of Microsoft. So uh, from magnificent seven to the ugly seven is where the market is transitioning. Many candles behind that. We're going to break that down as well in the next video. So if you're new, subscribe. Uh, if you are ready to rock and take your account 10, 20 X over the course of the next uh, three trading sessions, make sure you visit 13mmtv.com or click the link below and sign up for a coaching call. Let's roll.